Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at the Intel. I recently got an Intel 730 series SSD here. And so, um, this is actually an empty box. Here it is. Uh, so, I, I got one of these and I want to replace this as my C drive because um, I think it looks really nice. <laughs> First thing. Um, second, second thing is it's 240 gigabytes versus the one I have right now is 120. So it'll be more storage. And third thing is it's a lot faster. So I was going to um, migrate, I was gonna image my current C drive, which is an, uh, a SanDisk SSD, a 120 gig SanDisk SSD that I just got um, because I wanted an SSD, but it was kind of uh, a, low, a low cost, a, low, a budget option SSD. So, I have this one today and we're going to be mirroring the old one to this one and then I wanted to compare like how long it takes to boot and stuff like that. So uh, let's let's get started here. So before we get started here I kind of thought I'd show you what I have at the moment. So right now this is the uh, SanDisk SSD Plus 120 gig SSD and so I want to replace this guy with this guy right here. So I want to put him. I think um, it's a lot nicer looking SSD and we're gonna have more storage and better better speed. So first I thought let's just um, see how long it takes to boot with this SSD, so I figured we'd time it, and then we'll mirror it, and then we'll set this one up as our boot SSD. Three, two, one. And we're gonna go until we get the, uh, the image, or the screen with like the, the picture on it. There we go, okay. All right, so now that we got all of our benchmarking done, let's swap the SSD out and then uh, clone the drive and then we can make that our boot drive. So let's get to that. All right, so here's the current SSD that I'm using, the SanDisk SS, uh, SSD Plus. And so let's swap that out for this one real fast. So I've got this SSD installed, the new one, and then I have the other one jerry-rigged back to the back of my computer, just so that I can boot off of it, so that I can clone them. So once this one is set up, I'll remove this cable that's like crossing over through here. Um, so let's boot now, and it's probably not going to be able to find the drive because I plugged it into a different slot, but we're going to try anyway. Yeah, we have to go into the boot menu here and select the one we want. Ooh, that one. Okay, so now it'll boot into Windows. Which look at that. Okay, so the computer's rebooted. I think it's actually booted off of. I don't know. It's like not running Windows right now. It's really weird. It's like in some other operating system, and it's uh, copying the partition. So when this is done, uh, we'll boot off of the new SSD. I'm assuming. All right, cool. So the system just gave me like a little like congratulations. Your drive has been cloned. So I should be able to unplug the old SSD now and boot off of the new one. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna unplug. All right, so I have this guy unplugged now. I'm gonna put him right there. And we're gonna boot up, and we're gonna hit F11 to get into our boot menu. And there we are, now we can choose our Intel SSD to boot from, I believe. We hit that, and there you go, you got Windows, awesome. All right, so I think it's been successfully cloned, at least so far. All right, so now we can do our boot test. Um, I think last time, was it 16 seconds that I booted in? So I'm wondering if it's going to boot quicker this time. I have still the, the same BIOS mode enabled, so the BIOS time is still going to be the same, but the actual, so we're going to be measuring the difference in boot time, not the BIOS time. Because the BIOS time, like I just said, is staying the same. I'm repeating myself. Okay, wow, that was, that was pretty quick. So just a little recap of what we've done here. So I took out the uh, this SSD. This is the just the SSD plus the SanDisk one that I got 120 gig. This thing is so much lighter than the one uh, than the Intel one. That's probably because it is just a plastic housing and the PCB in there. The Intel one's got some weight to it, probably because it's a metal housing. 
Anyway, so we cloned the disk, this disk, onto the Intel one, and it's working fine. The Intel SSD, we're running on it right now. <coughs> the boot up times aren't much faster, so as far as booting goes for this disk, um, I wouldn't buy a new Intel SSD just for having faster boot times unless you don't already have an SSD. But now we are going to run the disk benchmark to see what our, what, how much faster it is. And then I'll do sort of a little wrap up for you guys. So while the benchmark runs, I'd like to take a minute to thank all the new subscribers. Uh, the subscriber growth recently has been amazing. The views, everything, the channel is growing so much. We've gone some from somewhere, I think it was the high 300s when I posted my last video. And now we're almost at 600, which is crazy. That's ridiculous. So um, if you're a new subscriber, you can say hi below and I'll say hi back. Um, and I'll probably say thank you because wow, it's been amazing. So I'm going to keep uploading and keep doing this. Um, just if I can, when I can, I've been trying to do every weekend. I know this is actually a Monday when I'm filming this. This video is probably going to go up a little bit late. I'm sorry, but I'm trying still. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. Let's get back to the video now. I think the benchmark's almost done. So yeah. All right. So I have the SSD uh, installed and working, and I took out the the SanDisk SSD. So right now we have the Intel SSD in there, we're booting off of it, everything is working fine. Um, but before I took out the SanDisk SSD, I ran Crystal Disk Benchmark on it, um, which is a disk benchmarking software, and then I also just ran it on the Intel SSD. And so what I did was I took the average of all the read speeds and the average of all the write speeds for each one of those, and then I used those to make my graphs. Because um, it does give you like each individual type of read and write test that I did. Um, I, I'll put images of those, I'll put screenshots of those tests right now. You can pause if you want to look at those now. But um, I average them out and then I put them in a graph. And so here we are, this is the graph you're looking at right now, <laughs> through the power of editing. Uh, so the Intel SSD was slightly faster in both categories. Uh, it was faster in read and write, but not by a whole lot, not by a whole lot. Is it going to be a noticeable improvement when you're using it uh, in day to day use? Probably not if you're like really maybe specific applications like if you're editing 4k video or something maybe in like a a Server or something you might notice a difference But in terms of day-to-day -day, like office computing or just like gaming and stuff I doubt you're gonna notice much of a difference and here's the interesting part the price per gigabyte the Intel SSD is $241, $240.99 on Amazon for a 240 gigabyte SSD. So that puts it at a dollar per gigabyte. Now the SanDisk SSD costs about $43, $42.99 for a 120 gig SSD. So that's about 36 cents per gigabyte. So the price per gigabyte is a lot lower on the SanDisk SSD. So what would I recommend? I would recommend getting the SanDisk SSD unless you need just like the top of the line performance because you're obviously going to pay um, almost three times as much for a slight bump in performance. So they're cool SSDs, they look nice, they perform really well, but um, in terms of price to performance, they're not nearly there with some of the more budget oriented SSDs. If you're building a system, just keep this in mind. You don't need the top of the line SSD. A slower SSD will be all right. At least I think that's, that's what I would do if I were building a system. I, like I did when I first built the system, I bought a cheaper SSD, but that's, that's what I think I got from all this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, this little SSD swap mirror thing. Um, if you did, you can leave it a like. If you didn't, I guess you can dislike and you can tell me why. Uh, you can tell me what I did wrong. People always say, oh, Gavin, you didn't test this right. Oh, Gavin, you didn't run that test. Oh, oh you didn't. Yeah, I, I, okay, there's a million tests you can run to benchmark disks. Yeah, I know. Um, so, there's, yeah, that was that. <laughs> uh, thanks for all the new subscriber, all the subscriber growth. Everything is growing right now on the channel, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much. Um, and I will see you guys next week. All right, bye.